Greg Cameron here, and we're fixing to do a series on bits and hackamores. How to use them, when to use them, and when to change. Hey, this will be useful information, and I'm going to keep it simple so that you'll be able to really understand it and put it to use in your program. You know, as I'm showing you the different uh, starting out with the halter uh, in this sequence, we've talked about the side pull, and then in the next second we talked and showed three different types of hackamores. Now these are the loping hackamores, not the Spanish style hackamores, and these are sort of the order I might go in as if I was starting a horse. Halter, side pull, hackamores, but that doesn't mean that it has to be in that order. Depends on the horse, the situation, and the circumstance. I get a really tough horse, man, this horse is pretty rough, shoot, I might want to go right on to the snaffle bit. A really soft horse, I might spend quite a bit of time in a nice soft nose hackamore, but when I finally am ready to introduce that snaffle bit, uh, after maybe my hackamore work, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to introduce it. So look at this head stall, it's just on all its own, it's a little hay string. You could add a real small piece of nylon, real small piece of leather, but it's a it's a O-ring snaffle. Now remember, when we get into snaffles, there's going to be lots of different styles of snaffles. We're going to have O-rings, D-rings, egg butts, I mean, full cheek snaffles, lots of different types of snaffles. But what makes them a snaffle is the fact that they do not have a shank. Anytime you get into a shank bit, you're getting into leverage. As you pull back on the shank, the top of the bit, it's called the purchase, goes forward. You have a curb strap or curb chain. Now that's creating pressure on the horse's jaw. And again, anything that's in the mouth is going to work on tongue pressure, on the bars of the mouth, depending on the design. It could be the roof. And don't forget, as that pressure goes forward, it's also putting pressure, even with the snaffle bit, on the head stall. But the, this is a nice mild bit, the ring snaffle because look, it just moves up and down on a ring. So the first time you put it in a horse's mouth, he can play with it, he can toy with it, he can move it. And what I'm trying to get him to do, what I'll do with this particular snaffle is I'm gonna put it on his mouth the first time, adjust it to fit, just come through in the corner of his mouth. I expect him to play with it, and he's going to. Then, because this is just this little string, then I put my hackamore on, on top of it. I'm riding him with the hackamore, but he's learning to carry the bit. And because there's no reins here, nobody can pull on it. What a wonderful way to introduce the bit. And believe it or not, it's very, very traditional. So again, you can build something like this. As you introduce the bit, you're not using it. He's just learning to carry it.